Hello, I am the mouth. When I'm not attached to the face, smoking cigarettes or drinking red wine, I like to watch Steve A's, the tired old queen at the movies. Maybe today you come with me, huh? Johnny, come on! Tired old queen at the movies. You know, Johnny, I wanted to show you what I consider to be my favorite male performance in a classic film. Charles Lawton as Quasimodo in the 1939's The Hunchback of Notre Dame, directed by William Ditero and starring Maureen O'Hara and Sir Cedric Hardwick. This movie was, of course, adapted from the novel by Victor Hugo, and it had been filmed once before in uh, the 1920s in a silent version that was very famous with Lon Chaney. Now, by this time, Lawton could pretty much write his own ticket. He had won an Oscar for playing Henry VIII a few years before. He had played Captain Bly in Mutiny on the Bounty. Mr. Christian, do you hear me? You know, it was amazing. He played uh, Norma Shearer's venomous sort of father in the Barretts of Wimpole Street. Then he turned around and played this lovable butler in the Ruggles of Red Gap. You know, he was so versatile. He could do just about anything. He wanted to do this part. <laughs> He was a tortured genius, if there ever was one. He was gay, he, he thought he was ugly, and, he, and this, this character meant a great deal to him. I never realized till now how ugly I am. It was a, vis a visualization of how he felt inside about himself. And uh, he kept going to the makeup men and saying, you know, this isn't right, this isn't right. And they did all these different types of makeup and trying to, and he would, you know, allow himself to be really hurt and in pain. And finally, he settled on this one where his eye, where the prosthetic eye was brought down to a glass eye by here. And that's the one that they settled on. It was a very uncomfortable makeup. He also had this huge hump placed on his back, which caused him an immense amount of back pain because he wanted it heavy. He wanted to feel the weight that this poor creature carried around all the time. I'm not a man. I'm not a beast. <laughs> I'm, I'm about as shapeless as the man in the moon. <laughs> To, to play his love, the, the woman that he loves, Esmeralda, the gypsy girl, he brought over Maureen O'Hara. She was an actress, uh, an Irish actress with flaming red hair, gorgeous. And he had worked with her in Hitchcock's Jamaica Inn uh, in England the year before, and he brought her over. And this was her first American movie. People seem to like her. Kazimoto is, uh, is captured... Um, and he's being flogged in public and they're throwing things at him and he's on this turntable and he's being he's tied down Walter! Walter! and he keeps calling for Walter Walter please Walter and no one will pay any attention to him and he can't hear and suddenly she comes up out of the crowd and she gives him water and the way that Lawton looks at her He's never seen anything quite so beautiful. You know, she was thrilled to be working with him again and so honored that he had asked her. And she said she didn't dare speak up, but she was terrified because there was a scene where she's going to be hanged. They think she's murdered uh, her boyfriend, when in reality, Sir Cedric Hardrick, the priest that looks over Kazimoto, has killed her boyfriend because he's so jealous and he's so in love with her. But anyway, they arrest her, they're going to hang her, and Kazimoto comes down out of the top of Notre Dame on a rope and grabs her and swings back up into the bell towers and lifts her above his head. And the stunt person who lifted her, they had a big stunt man, you know, lift her. She said, I was over 200 feet above 
the crowd that was swarming below. And she said, and the camera was above me looking down, so they couldn't use a double. They had to use me. And she said, I just had to just completely take it out of my brain that I might fall <laughs> to my death at the bottom of this thing. And it's one of the most unforgettable shots. <laughs> Against this humongous landscape of thousands of extras and stuff, Diterral is able to whittle it down with the help of Lawton into this tender story of this misfit who is so good at heart and just wants a little compassion and a little love. And it's not an easy film to sit through. You better get your handkerchiefs. But I think it's one of the greatest and bravest performances you will ever see. Gabriel, Guillaume, Big Marie. She, uh, she made me deaf, you know. I can hear my friend. The amazing Charles Lawton as Casimodo in William Dye Terrell's The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Let's all go to the lobby. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> Sorry, Charles. Sanctuary! Sanctuary! I was wrong! Sanctuary! Delicious things to eat. <laughs> <laughs>